Hey guys, so today I'm on a WTF, our 47 foot houseboat that we just got. You guys just watched us just bring it back from Jacksonville. But I'm going to be doing a, just a couple little upgrades inside. Just wanted to do a video on it. If you uh, look behind me here, these lights right here, and I'm going to get a real close look, show you a close up here. Yeah, if you, you can see the corrosion and kind of the rust that's on these lights and some of them are really bad i took one of these off you can see the rust and stuff on this light and what we're going to be doing is i'm going to be replacing it with these can uh, recessed can lights four inch so this these lights run off of um, the shoreline, but also off off of our solar. And I'll show you. That's just the one that I cut out. Look at look what the corrosion did here. So I'm gonna have to scrub and clean that real good before I put that in there. But I got two on this side. We got one in the galley over the the eating area there, um, and then one here. Then I got one going down to the downstairs berth there and one couple back in the stateroom that I'm gonna change. So that's gonna be the light project, but I'm also gonna do the, uh, the, the stairs here going down into the galley, the carpet that, that we, going in and out working on a boat, I kind of made this carpet kind of nasty and I don't wanna deal with this long-term. So I got some wood and I'm gonna redo it with some wood and I'm gonna stain it. So we'll see how that goes out, turns out also. But that's the project I'm gonna, rewire them i also have some uh 12 volt lighting that i'm gonna be putting in here that's that's over the the helm here that's the helm light that i got a new one for that to replace because it doesn't work but i'll show you the lights that we did and when it's all done the before and afters i think it's going to look real good and i think the uh i think the stairs are going to come out real nice also So the wiring on this was done with like crimp wires like these, but not the hink shrink. I guess because when they do the houseboats, a lot of these are done on fresh water um, and there's less concern about corrosion. So I've cut these back a little further. I'm going to do it with a, with a heat shrink like I would do on a regular uh, marine application. Um, like almost like I would do on my little small center console boat just to keep any corrosion out of there or any further uh, fire hazards or corrosion hazards where the lights don't work down the road. But get the right tools like these right crimpers and stuff. Then I'm just going to uh, shake it on. I mean, it's a dub, like some of these are double wires because they're run to other lights so it's probably not like a hundred percent uh marine or, or water seal but it's better than nothing probably could make it even a little bit more corrosion resistant if i did some dielectric grease or something but that's that's about it then i take my uh my lights here now since I, that's a double it's a it's a yellow one so it's a little bigger so i stripped the wire a little further back and doubled it up so it doesn't uh pop out and uh same thing here the switch These spring-loaded things, they're they're pretty uh pretty tough. So this lighting is not gonna slip down, but that's a pretty easy transition uh from the can light to that, and I think it looks a lot better. You know, get the one done over there, that one's done. And we just got 
one more to do so it don't look like that. Guys, we just got the uh, WTF back from Jacksonville, 600 mile trip. Did some stuff along the way. Um, I'm gonna work on the lights a little bit, but we're also uh, these stairs. Uh, the, the carpet's comfy, but it just gets dirty and I don't wanna clean it as much. So I got some uh, exterior uh, treaded pre-made wood uh, that I'm gonna stain and, and make, hopefully make look nice. We'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna take these, these steps off and then do the wood that I got and stain it and see if it looks all right. So let's see how it goes. wanted to go over with what I'm using here. This is a bare product, semi-transparent stain and sealer, waterproofing stain and sealer. Uh, I talked to the guy at Home Depot for the application I'm using for steps and stuff. He said it would probably be the best. Did one coat yesterday, but I had a couple runs. I did it late and quick. Um, so I'm just gonna put one more second coat on the high traffic area here and uh, wipe it with a rag because I don't want it too, too heavy. I want to be able to see some of the wood grain but it's you know semi-transparent so i think we're going to get that regardless um i actually tried just wiping it on with a rag earlier and i didn't like it so i'm going back with the brush um this is a pewter color um and my thinking was with this uh pressure treated wood with the greens and the browns that you get in pressure treated wood this gray would make a nice color <clears throat> and it really has i'm pretty happy with it um, i mean it's just little steps it's not like i don't know and then go across the front here where you can where people will see it when they walk up but this time i just don't want to i just don't want to leave any lines and uh, I'm also doing this in the sun, which is probably a mistake according to some people who do this stuff. I'm not a professional, but I want it to dry quick. So that's why I'm doing it. But I'm pretty happy with that. All right, guys, I'm here in the galley. The projects are done. It started out as a Replaced the step project and a couple lights and I ended up doing everything in the ceiling and I'm going to show you what I did um, First I want to show you the steps because I'm pretty happy with them. So I did that pewter stain Replacing the carpet. It looks a lot better. I think It uh kind of goes with the boat the the flooring has a little bit of gray grout in it And the beige side. I mean it goes good enough and I'll show you why I'm here in the galley also I kind of there was a ran some 12 volt wiring and to here and this is good when the lights are out if you just want to light the kitchen up or the galley you can uh also use this little light blue setting and that's pretty cool so the lights up here that i did initially started with these these are the 110 lights they run off the solar like all the lights do um but they were they were like a can light that was like stainless and they were like rusty and crusty looking and they put out a lot of heat. So I went to Home Depot and I got some can lights to replacement remodel can lights and I put them in here and wired them and they looked pretty good. Well, while I was doing that, I got to looking at the speakers and I ended up redoing the speakers and I'll show you. Here's the new speaker, but the old speakers were... They were just 20 years old and they were tans and they got that nasty brown discoloration to them because they were old and tan. And so I just figured I'd replace the speakers and the sound quality is a lot better. They sound great in here. I can't let you hear it because there'll be copyright infringements. But while I was doing that, I was talking to Leslie 
and I was showing her the lights, and I'm like, ah, oh, there's nothing wrong with these lights here. And when I touched them, man, they were burning hot because I had an old school technology. So I got the new LED little lights that I put in here, but I was hoping it was going to be just as easy install as the rest of it. The problem is, is when I ordered these off of Amazon, and they're the right size, but the back of these, the, the, the backing of them, it would not fit in a hole. So I actually had to get a hole saw bit, take the drill bit out of it, and make the hole bigger and I don't know if you guys have ever used a hole saw and you've tried to do that there's tricks to it where you can put a board behind it and stuff but I couldn't get it in the hole I kind of just had to hold it there freehand it not mess up the fabric but I ended up pulling it off some of them were a little crooked but I can't complain but I want to show you from a you know just from the full span of the of the WTF here of the houseboat it looks pretty good it's bright really bright which is good and bad because you might not want it that bright, but that's what's good about having the two different setups. I can shut off the inner and that's a lot better um, um, as far as brightness goes. And then I have this 12 volt that I put over the helm. It has the same thing as the blue thing, but even now with that off, it's a lot more comfortable in here. And then I can do the flip side. I can shut all the lights off and just use just use the uh the helm and that just kind of if i want just a little bit of light so very happy with it looks great in here in the uh in the salon going down into the galley uh lights up really bright but i want to show you we did the stateroom also um i don't know if the gopro is going to pick this up but let me shut all the lights out here. We got a pretty awesome. I don't know if that's going to show it. That's the back of our canal with the sun just finishing up setting. It looks pretty cool, but GoPros aren't the best with light. So, anyways, back to the project. Here's the can lights, same as up there in the salon. I changed back here in the back master suite, and we have two speakers back here also. So when this, when I turn the stereo on in here, this boat is cranking. Um. But again, very bright in here, which is good if you want it. But if you don't want it, we have the 12 volt. I could shut this off and it's nice and uh, it's not as uh, not as bright. And then if we want even less than that, I got the blue light and it's good, almost like a night light. So that's it. Just wanted to show that to you. We got some other projects that are coming up. Show you the stairs again here. Um, uh, I'm eventually going to be working my way back in the motor compartment. I'll show you some of that stuff. I got to do manifolds and the risers. I got some fuel stuff that I got to do. Um, believe it or not, I have two broken motor mounts. And I don't know if you guys watched our trip coming across the Okeechobee waterway on one of those episodes. Um, we lost our uh, port transmission. And it's because the coupling that where the couplings meet off the v-drive all those bolts sheared and they just rattled loose which should never happen well we found out why my mechanic buddy came by and noticed i have two broken motor mounts so if that happened along the way i don't know or if i bought the boat like that i don't know but i'm gonna get some motor mounts and fix it so i'll be in the motor compartment for a little bit fixing that stuff getting it ready for some um other trips out and about long-term effects i'm gonna put diesels in this thing for long trips doing the loop going to the Tortugas, going to the Bahamas, so I can get better gas mileage, get 10, 12 miles an hour, and only burn four to five gallons, four to five miles per gallon versus one to two. But that's it. Show you one more uh, scan of the salon here. Very happy with the way this turned out. Lights up beautiful at night. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys have any questions about the lights or something that you're doing or if you got a better idea or something that you've done or any ideas with some of this other stuff, let me know. Any questions, let me know. I'll, I'll respond to you in the comments and let you know what I was using. But remember, guys, it is, it's, it's, it's always there for you. If you want to, if you want it, go get it. If you want a houseboat, if you want to do this lifestyle, go get it. I'm not retired yet, but I'm close. And when I do, I'm going to be ready for it. I'm busting my butt to get as far as I can to get what I got. And I'm still going to work a little bit harder to get this stuff fine-tuned for when I do retire. And then we're going to enjoy it. And we're also going to enjoy it in the meantime. So 
Don't let any of this stuff hold you down. You can do it. Baby steps, pull it off. Remember, Salty Bushwhacker, it is a way of living. Peace.